Book and I also let people know this book is available in English and Spanish. So you done yes. took it to a whole nother level. Yes, yes. Praise God. Yes, uh, well, uh, we're excited. Thank you so much for having us again here. Amen. Praise God on your show. A amen. Listen, we want to. This this is not a a, a really new uh, release. Our Amen. Crowd the millennials are latest, but we bite. Uh, when I was under my my pastor, he's 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 going on to build the Lord now, but so many things I I, I learned from him, and I was he would tell me to watch him. I was his armor bearer, and, and basically everywhere he went at, he would take me uh, with him uh, on different things. He was an overseer at over fifteen churches, amen, in different parts of uh, the lower parts of the, of the U.S. And he amen, and so uh, uh, I was there with him and. I began to learn a lot of things, and he Tim said, "Watch me." And then I started to write down stuff because he was he was a prophet, apostle, evangelist, a pastor, and a teacher. Amen. He worked in the nine gifts of the spirit, wow. and uh, he also, Amen, was a demonologist. When I said demonologist, he that was his main thing. He did was cast out demons. That's what he did. People from everywhere called him if they had a demonic force in their house or wherever that force was. He we, he would go to people's houses and pray the houses out, amen. Where people uh uh and people don't realize that this is real. Demons are real. Yes, they amen. are. Amen. And people don't know uh uh the importance of it, amen. Whereas, amen, a person you can go actually come home and a demon can follow you home where you might have been in an atmosphere where a lot of demonic activity was going on. And and he used to go to folks' houses where people had, had owners or people had died. Uh, and th they was at the house and they didn't, they would be slamming doors, amen, and doing different things, amen. People would call him and say, I can't sleep. I hear folks walking in my house and, and they would get him there and he would go up and anoint the house and pray. And that demonic force would go wherever it was located, where it, was, where, where, where it needed to go at that particular time, right. amen. And I, I watched this and he had me casting out demons. He was, he was get out there, uh, amen, preach it and cast out this demon. And, and I was trained in those gifts, amen. His pastor was a prophet. He, he was a prophet. He told me that I was a prophet. So, amen, uh, after uh, he went home to be with the Lord, Amen. This different things I had wrote, and uh, uh, I seemed like just all of a sudden I just began to write down a lot of the stuff, putting the notes together. And before I know it, here, here was the dynamics of the anointing. God gave me this name, the dynamics of the anointing, and it and it talks about the nine gifts of the spirit. There's three gifts that reveal, according to First Corinthians, the 12th chapter. This is a very spiritual book. Amen. Anybody that's a pastor, apostle, that work in the fivefold ministry, you need this book in your library. It's going to, amen, enhance and, and explain some of the different things that maybe that you do or God deal with you about that people they don't even understand. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you work in the nine gifts, amen, praise God, some people will not even understand what are you saying? Uh, because, like I said earlier, there's three gifts that reveal, three gifts of power, and three gifts of utterance. The three gifts that are revealed are actually the word of wisdom, which looks into the mind of God, the word of knowledge, which talks about the the, uh, the past and, uh, and person, place, and thing, and then the gift of discernment, which looks into the spiritual world where you actually see demons. A amen. You, you may be in your house and see some light run through your house. That's a demonic form. You may be somewhere and see light shadows going through those. Those could be angelic beings. Amen. That's in your presence. So uh, this book here would actually going to take it into the mind of the anointing. Well, amen. Praise God. People, amen, could be trained and learn how to operate the gifts that they have. Amen. There, there's nine gifts Amen. Praise God that, that operates in the body of Christ. And these gifts are prevalent. They have to be there. Amen. The, as I was saying, the revelatory gifts, they reveal then the gifts of power. Amen. They operate in the evangelists or uh, the gift of healing, the gift of miracles. 
and the gift of faith. Ooh, and then cool. you have the gift of utterance that explains why you're speaking in tongues. There's a gift of tongues. Amen. According to Romans, the eighth chapter, uh, it's a lot to say in a few minutes, but this book is going to detail everything that I'm saying now. Amen. The, the, the gift of wisdom, excuse me, amen. The gift of discernment, amen. The, these type of gifts, the revelatory gift, but then the gifts of utterance, amen. The gift of tongues, the interpretation of tongues. If you're in an atmosphere and people, everybody go to speaking in tongues, amen. Praise God. That might be the uh, be interpreted. So you right. need interpreters. Amen. Praise God to operate. Then you have, amen, the other gift of prophecy, which uh, operates in, in the prophet. Amen. He can see something, but then he's got to be able to speak what he see. Right. So uh, anybody that's a prophet that's listening to me, hearing the sign of my voice. Amen. Praise God. Those three gifts, the revelatory gifts, operate in the prophet. He must uh, work in those revelatory gifts along with the gift, uh, amen, of prophecy so he can speak what he see. A prophet, he see, he feel, or he hear, all prophets. They see, feel, or hear. Some see, some feel things, some hear things, and some do it all. It's really important to how they was trained under the sensei. Amen, praise God. My, my sensei, Apostle James T. My man, as I forced that he's going to be with, uh, with the Lord, and I actually dedicate this book, amen, in behalf of him because of the work he did and the training that I received to, aid, to be able to work in the, in the body of Christ. It's, it's imperative, amen, that anybody in the ministry get this book in their library. Well, we definitely going to get it. Now, we definitely going to get it. And one of the things I want to say to you is that our yeah. church here in Knoxville, Tennessee, we are up under the overseer. His name is Apostle Jerry Upton here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah. And our church is Honey Rock Victorious Church International. Yeah. And because okay. we're in operation expansion, and that's what God is doing. He's expanding and he's connecting people. And yes. uh, and we want to connect with some with some other churches. So I'm going to be connecting you two together. So just know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's well, that's awesome. We we look forward to being connected. Uh, uh, and, and the apostolic that is very important, and this is from our apostle, even though you got on the board there now. This is he read my book and he was so fascinated. This is what he sent me back and told me about that. He's an apostle over many churches, and he was just uh, excited and elated when he read this book. Uh, uh, it, it really uh impressed him and, and, and enhanced some of the things that he was actually God was using him of in and God was dealing with him about, but as he read this book. It became clear what God was showing him in that. You know, iron sharpened iron. That's, right. that's what Solomon right. said. Amen. Praise God. Everything that God going to tell us, mostly if we're in the prophet or knowing or the apostolic, amen, teaching of the apostles, amen, God confirms his word. If God speak a word, it will be confirmed. God, And if God speak it, it will happen. 100% of the time. And what's happening now, a lot of people have, have a mis, mis, uh, they have, they have, uh, uh, mixed up, amen, what is prophecy? There's three levels of prophecy. And because a person prophesied, that don't make up a prophet. All this yes. is in this book. There's yes. three levels. There's, there's, the, there's the, amen, praise God, the, the, the word of prophecy, which, which amen, uh, uh, the rooster, when he crowed, crowed, amen, and, and, and let, uh, amen, Peter know that what uh, that he said when the clock crowed th thrice, amen, praise God, you will deny me. The God had the rooster's mouth to open up and prophesy to him, amen. The donkey spoke out and told the, the prophet, amen, praise God, you hit us in the disruption. So God can use anybody as a ram to speak a word at that particular time, the, uh, amen. That only mean, mean that they say. Amen. Praise God. There's a gift for that repentance. See, a warlock and a witch doctor and a sorcery, they have a gift. They have a gift, but but it, but they're, they're not saved, but they are gifted. You're born with whatever gift you are. If you're a prophet, you're born one. Amen. If, if, if you're a singer, you're born a singer. Glory to God. If you're a preacher, you're born with that. Predestinated. Whatever you got, God give it to you. As he told Jeremiah, from your mother's womb, I ordain you a prophet. And then you have to be trained and taught how to operate your gift. It's just like having a man. If you got a, if you got a, 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 
or a rifle and you don't know how to how to load it or how to uh, the clean it or disassemble it, somebody can come in and take the rifle out of your hand. And a lot of people now in the fight of Christ, they have many gifts, but they haven't been trained in the gifts and they're making a lot of mistakes and, and making a lot of shit right because they haven't gotten the training. There's nobody to take the time out to train people, amen, in their gift. You've got to be trained on how to ride a bicycle. Somebody can buy your bicycle if they don't teach you how to and help you get on it and balance yourself and learn how to how to ride it. Amen. You'll keep falling, you'll keep falling and you'll keep falling. That is what's happening in the body of Christ. But thank God for pioneers like James T. Mike Manners that took time out and trained me from day one Amen. Own the gifts. He said, you gifted, but you don't know how to operate the gifts. Amen. Praise God. There's a there's a gift of prophecy. I mean, there's a spirit of prophecy that anybody can speak a word. That don't mean that don't mean nothing because you you speak and it happens. Then you have the gift of prophecy that operates in the fivefold ministry. If you feel with the Holy Ghost, you can you can prophesy a, a, a word of exaltation, edification, or a, 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 a comfort. Prophecy exalts, edifies, and comfort according to 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. But then you have the office of a prophet or prophetess. That's one that operates strictly in the nine gifts of the spirit. They have the, they not only do they have wisdom, they have the gift of it. They don't, not only do they discern, they have the gift of discernment. Amen. A prophet, he can be talking to somebody and the gift of discernment can go into operation and they'll see that person's face change. I've been talking to people and seeing their, their face change. The first time it happened, a person changed into some kind of a, a monster. And I said, God, what is this? God yes. was telling me, showing me what type of spirit that person has. Uh, yes. uh, one time I was talking with a German uh, evangelist and I see a, a black mist come out of his mouth. I'd never seen that before. And I thought I was hallucinating. I said, what is this, Lord? What am I seeing? And later on, I kept questioning. I said, God, what is that? He said, that was a lion demon that you was able to see because they had got a habitual. Just like somebody started drinking alcohol, they, they, they get caught. Uh, 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 DUI, but as they continue to get caught, they were called a, a bitch or violator. A person, right. when they get a, 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 a demon of lying or demon or whatever, that, that demon will actually show up and manifest itself. And God let me discern and see that that was going on. That's about my first encounter. My man said, told me these things will happen, but it never happened to me. Amen. Right. But it did go to God. And as I, as I put those notes together, amen. This is not a big book. But it's, 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 it's TNT. It's pipe with dynamite. Amen. Yes. And, 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 and you, you know, it's pipe with somebody. Damn, I want to say both, one more thing. Maybe you want to ask me a question, but amen. No. Uh, chapter five talks about the art of listening. Mm. If we uh, can only learn to listen, James, uh, James 1 and 19 say, be swift to hear, yep. slow to speak, and slow to write out. Yes. And that's why God gave us one mouth and two ears <laughs> uh, on each side of the head so we can catch all the wind and all every, right. uh, amen, every, uh, as it succumbs us all the way around, we can catch what God wants us to say. Amen. So, so, so uh, the art of listening, uh, amen. A lot of people are reading and not hearing from God. They're too busy. They got too many things going on and they're not hearing. They're not taking that time to hear. For example, when we pray, we shouldn't uh, just pray and jump up. We, God, see, we, that's how you talk to God. We talk to him in prayer. According to Romans the 8 chapter, we know not what to pray for, but the spirit, the Greek word pneuma, the breath of God makes intercessions uh, right. through groanings and moanings, which cannot be understood. So when we're praying, uh, amen, and we should wait, amen. I call it soaking. Yes. We should wait. Once you get through praying, Take a few minutes out and just wait there and meditate and let God, and he'll come back with a small boy. He ain't going to come in the thunder. He's not going to come in, in, in the earthquake. Is that right? And you don't, and God may be to give some fear for this question, but you was in too big a hurry uh, 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 to, uh, you, you get a quick prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul and jumped up. Jump but up. you didn't wait for God to come back and talk to you in Daniel the 10th chapter. God told, he told Daniel, Daniel, when you prayed the first time, I heard you, That's but right. I was in a battle. If you'd have waited I, uh, for 21 days, he was in a battle, but he did bring the message. 
Proverbs 3 and 6 is one of my favorite scriptures. He said, in all thy ways, if you would acknowledge me, Jesus. I will direct your path. That's so right. a lot of times we're praying, Lord, this. Lord, I need a miracle. Lord, show me the way. Lord, keep it in. Lord, I need this. But then God tried to come back and give us the instruction on how, when, and where to do it. That's he right. going to instruct us. That's and right. those in this book, chapter 5, the art. I call it the art of listening. Let God just talk That's to you. Right. And he'll come right back and tell you everything that you need, want, and desire. That's there you but, go. but a sneaky person will throw it on you real quick and you only right. got a few minutes to decide. And my mama didn't like that. So my mama always made a point to where if you don't give me enough notice, notice, then the first two letters of notice is no. <laughs> it's, it's no mop and go out there and mop, and mop the front room. Uh, and, and that was to learn them obedience and learn to be to take instructions. And, right. and as he learned how to be obedient, then he was able to go do those things. So God is trying to first launch, will you first obey me? Right. You you want to prophesy, you want to cast out demons, you want to lay hands <laughs> on the sick and folk fall out and all of that, that's all right. that's well. But first learn to obey me. How about use you if you won't obey me? Because if you start to you being used, then you may think you're doing it. And you'll forget about what I'm trying to instruct and tell you, and you'll do your own thing and make a shit right. So this book here, it's going to help us uh, uh, sell it down, sell it in, and learn how to operate the gifts. Many are gifted, but they don't know how. And the word is how, when, and where. That's a time and a season for everything. That's a time that you may know me as a prophet well, if people know it or not, I do really more praying and I do prophesying right. for the simple reason I, I'm, I'm praying and making sure that what I'm getting ready to release is from God and not me. That's so right. sometimes God, uh, I've been I've been known things for for months, sometimes sometimes weeks, uh, uh, you know, and, and anticipating, Lord, do you want me to speak or you want me to pray for them? Most of the time, a lot of the times. Uh, uh, sixty percent of the time, God has just want me to intercede from what He showed me about that person because what I may not be able to tell them what I'm seeing. That's right. So I so I can go into intercessory prayer and pray for them and sit back and watch the hand of God move. So so that's why a mature prophet he's doing more praying than he is uh, uh, speaking, even though I do prophesy, but I, I, I'm doing a lot of praying too. But it makes sense because if you think about it, Jesus is an everyday intercessor. Yes. Every day. Yes, he, yes. Because God says, I just want you to remind my people. And even in this book today, he told to all of y'all that's listening today, God wants you to understand that he hear everything you say to him. Yes. But a lot of times we so out of order talking to God because yes. we're going all on the line with God. But he said, the only way to me is through my son. Yes. Yes. So for those of y'all today that's in darkness and y'all say, well, Miss Sherry, I feel like God ain't hearing me and he ain't moving and he ain't this. The first question I ask you is, who are you talking to, God or Jesus? Because <laughs> it's not a trick question. Because right. we all know God is our father. But right. we also know he said the only way to him is through his son. So God gave me a vision of tell my people that they talking to me and they up here and they praying and all this. But it's like their lips is moving and nothing is coming out. Right. Because it's like your kids asking you, can someone spend the night? And they go, well, I don't mind them spending the night, baby, but you're going to have to go ask your daddy. Right. Okay. The kid can't spend the night yet until we go ask daddy. Well, right. God is saying, before you ask me anything, okay, you're going to have to talk to Jesus. Because, see, yeah. when you take it to him, he becomes your intercessor. You don't have enough power to make me move. We ain't right. got enough power to make God move. Uh, because y'all doing a lot of great works. We're doing a lot of great works. But God is saying union of the churches. He's needing union of the apostles because the apostles carry all the gifts. They carry all the yes. gifts of fivefold. So That's they right. know exactly what's being pulled in. And a lot of churches don't have five folds. Right. This That's just right. totally blessed me. I said, look at this. Look at the Um, uh, your church that's the Africa. I see that there's a church that, 
that you're affiliated with in Africa? What is yeah. that? Mount Sinai, Africa. We have three churches over there. We got uh, Bishop Kumba, uh, Gamba, and uh, Grace uh, Joshua. They're in, in Nairobi, uh, uh, Kenya, and uh, and another Socia uh, churches uh, where they're connected. And matter of fact, the Bishop, Bishop uh, Gamba came over uh, in last year in July because the COVID was going on. I told him I wasn't going to fly over, but he, he was elated. He wanted to come over uh, for me to pray <laughs> over him and everything for him to go back and go back to work. So we was able to do that. So we're looking forward, hopefully, uh, as soon as things die down to get over in Africa and and really uh, build a church, do some other work, uh, dig some wells. We're going we're gonna to do it all by the help of God. So, amen. God is on the move. Uh, uh, listen, this book here is imperative that every Every brand new five-fold ministry need this book. Uh, our, our pastor reading this book is going to really enhance them to let them know that he need to get that apostle in, he need to get that prophet in there. If he's not operating the prophet, amen, to speak, amen, you have to make sure, pray, you get the right folks in. But uh, uh, you need the whole five-fold. You need all fingers. You don't need just one finger. You got to have the whole five. You want to make sure that everybody, not only the English-speaking folks, but folks that speak Spanish, which are a lot of people, Yes. that speak Spanish, and we want to make sure that they're not excluded. So that's why we came up with this book here. Well, I'm excited. And to y'all authors out there, this is just a nugget for you. For those of you out that do books in English, now yes. you can think about doing it in another language because it opens language. the door to a whole nother level of people. It's a whole nother level. Diverse because God don't see color, baby. God has no, no. persons. <laughs> no. No, he don't. No. So if he put it on you to be a teacher, you better be out here teaching. He didn't say nothing about just being with black people. He didn't say that, nothing about right. white people. He said, get out here and teach his word. So yeah. I am so thankful for you, yeah. Mr. Willie. I look forward to you every time we get together. Well, good. And, uh, we'll be connecting. And uh, we're dealing with a lot of writers around here, around the world. Yes. Uh, we got Miss awesome. uh, Patricia still doing her thing. And That's I'm awesome. so excited. In the back next week or two, we're going to have her done. And, uh, okay. and so I'm just really excited. So thank you so much for being you on our show. And uh, for all of you all, we're going to end with song messages of God. As you always know, we always bring you into some song messages of God because God wants you to know that you're going to have problems, but you can have somebody to hold your hand because we know better. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy song messages of God. God bless you. We'll see you next time. You got it. Thank you.
Thank you so much for watching today. The enemy cannot win against God. You guys, make sure you get that word. I really are. I can bully him and sing you down in double joy. God is so good and he is not a respect of person. So if you got a, a story, you have uh, you have a book that's out and you would like to share your book with us, then we are so ready to see it. <laughs> we are ready to see it. Yes, we are. God is doing some amazing things. And I just wanted to say thank you guys. And uh, we're going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, great house.